okay fine i have started the recording now and let's see the first question over here which uh, we can revise what are the different uh, modularization techniques we have and how it's going to be benefit so we know that include program subroutine and function modules these are the various modularization technique available in abap and the benefit of that is improved readability better reusability and a better maintenance right so these are the benefits the readability reusability and maintenance this modularization technique providers okay what is the mandatory check for all entries we have seen that you know initiality check is the mandatory one and some of the optionals like we have to short and we have to remove the adjacent duplicates from there these are the optional check right if the internal table records is not filled then what impact will be when we use for all entries so it's going to give the you know all the results so let me do one thing here i'm going to ask you the question to you guys okay um doing one thing over here so instead of uh, like doing the revision like this where i'm going to read and you are going to listen instead of that it's uh, going to be in opposite way i'll be asking the question and i'm going to unmute and you'll have to give the answer so any one of you uh, whoever will be interested you have to raise your hand and out of those raised hand i will unmute one of them and you are supposed to answer so because we have already gone through all the slides so it's not making sense once again for me to describe and explain so now just tell me what's the difference between pass by value and pass by reference any one of you whoever is willing to you know give the answer just raise your hand i will unmute you okay um pakas i'm going to unmute yeah please go ahead yeah pass by reference is um when you pass by uh, you basically sending the reference uh, uh memory so if you change anything in the subroutine it, it will get changed when you pass by value it is only the value which gets passed on uh, if you change it inside the subroutine it won't get changed means it's like assigning the memory yeah so pass by reference means whenever we are going to change something in the uh, formal parameters it will deflect back in the actual parameters on the other hand uh, in pass by value it will be just opposite so in pass by reference if you are changing something in the fo formal parameters it will reflect back in the actual parameter because both are pointing to the same memory address right in pass by value it will just uh, it will just get copied the uh, value it will just copy the a uh, value okay another question uh, rfc function does rfc function module support pass by reference this is the question does rfc function module support pass by reference any one of you ompas ompakas would you like to give the answer Uh, yeah i don't think so yeah it does not support the region behind in rfc function module generally we use the rfc function module when we have to give a call from one system to another system and because you don't have the command on the address of another system from a from from this system right because two 
both the systems are separated they are not uh, uh, you know means their memory address uh, we are not uh, having the command on the memory address of another system so we don't know like uh, where they are referencing and so suppose if you have a system a and if you have the system b so a does not know the memory location of system b and b does not know the memory address of system a so it's uh, like uh, very difficult to manage the pass by reference in two different system right and rfc comes into the picture when two different systems involved so that's the main reason whenever rfc comes into picture you know the pass by reference is not supported so whenever you create the rfc function module it does not support the pass by reference it supports only pass by value good now another question when 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 you are using the you know when you are using the for all entries and suppose your for all entry tables table is empty then what it's going to be whether it's going to get all the records or it will going to get none of the records right so why actually we perform the initiality check suppose if we don't perform the initiality check for for all entries what it's going to be very simple question but very important question very frequently asked question who will give the answer any fresher over here for experience it's fine they know already any fresher would like to give the answer for this question ramesh uh, can you try ramesh uh, yes sir actually it fetches the all the data from database table yeah it will fetch all the data very good ramesh awesome so it will fetch all the data from the database table if for all entries table is blank very good awesome now um, rfc function module we know what is the rfc function module okay then uh, function group okay so tell me some points about the function group who would like to tell some points some specific points about the function group some important points about the function group raise your hand who will be telling some important point i want to listen from you you know some interesting fact about the function group yeah teja go ahead yes you can tell teja i have unmuted you okay anyone else i think he is not able to hear me but he has raised his hand some some interesting fact some important fact about the function group i would like to uh listen here yeah ompakas yes yes ompakas you can go ahead um, can you hear me yes yes i am able to hear you yes yeah function group contains multiple i mean you can create as many uh, fun, uh function modules as you want uh, and another thing is you can use multiple uh, subroutines i think the, the what you call it uh, okay forms inside and also some of the global parameters you can um, uh, use it in all all the function modules okay that you are uh, having it in the in the function group okay so, so uh, yeah yeah go ahead global uh, you know constants declarations and stuff like that mm yeah in function group at the master level pro in the master program we can define the <clears throat> or uh, like in the function group uh, whenever we create the master program or whenever we create the top include over there we can uh, like in the in the generic include in the global include uh, we can uh, we can like define the global variable over there that's fine one point another point whenever uh, we call a function module our function group entirely gets loaded into the memory this is one point 
very important point and it will help so many times like if you understand this concept otherwise sometimes what happens that variable gets conflict like the value which we expect that does not come properly because whenever you are going to call another function module uh, of the same function group because the function module uh, function group is going to be loaded into the memory it uh, uh, it likes in the same session uh, suppose again you are expecting for the different result to come because you're already entire function group is loaded into the memory you know uh, in the in the same session again uh, one different function module of the same function group if you're going to call the result is going to be different so that need to be take care like so this is one important point from the function group perspective so here some how to activate the function group very easy right you can go to ACAT and from there you can activate right click and activate right or you can double click over there you will get you will get the master program and you can activate right so better i think you can right click on the function group and you can activate everything in one go whatever are there in the function group it will try to activate the function module and all also so if you have the empty function group right just a dummy function group it will be activated very easily but if you have some function module and it uh, and uh, your function module will be having some problem then you know you won't be able to activate until and unless you are going to correct the syntax or another things in the function module so everything inside the function group should be perfect before activating the function group good what is the update function module who would like to tell some important points about the update function module and then you can tell some differences between normal rfc and update fm so just unmute your mic and try to you know uh, explore try to tell some some facts about the update function module first and then we'll go for the differences anyone over here would like to tell harkesh or maybe rahul anyone sanchari yeah hi Hello. yes yes yeah yeah rajesh normal function is used for the particular functionality and mm -hmm. it will not support uh, to any remote system mm -hmm. coming to the remote uh, function module it supports uh, in the remote system only and when and when we use it, when we use update function module mm -hmm. it is used to update the standard database tables mm -hmm. and uh, this is the first difference and second difference is uh, in normal case we have we don't want to use uh, pass by value but in uh, remote function module we have to use so mandatory thing we have to use pass by values but update we are we will not uh, don't want to use pass by value mm -hmm. yeah this is the difference okay okay anyone else would like to tell some uh, uh so first i would like to listen some important point about the update function module like what is update function module and uh, what is its use and when it gets triggered so this kind of important points i would like to listen first about the uh you know uh update function module and then you know uh we'll go for the differences so anyone else would like to uh highlight some points about the update function module this is important one you can raise your hand i will unmute you yeah okay um Pukash, you can go yeah Oh, okay. I mean, if somebody else wants to answer, I'll let them do it. Yeah, Teja, you can go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Pankaj. Yeah, hi, hi, Teja. Yes. Yeah, this is uh, generally used for uh, updated database records. Mm -hmm. uh, updated function model will be we can call for uh, 
same system using uh, trfc rfc qrfc function in background mm -hmm. and uh, this is used to achieve actually scp lu lu w yes yes good mm -hmm. okay so see uh, update function module uh, <clears throat> the very first point why we use the update function module in order to achieve the sap luw either all or none luw stands for logical unit of works so whenever we want a transaction to be consistent right or we want to have the transaction to follow the luw concept like sometimes what happens that after multiple validation we are supposed to commit the record in the database right so if somewhere the validation is going to be failed we are not supposed to commit the record into the database we are supposed to roll back or you know we are not supposed to go ahead so suppose like if you want to update some mara table and then you want to update some marci table and then you want to update some mardd table so first you did some validation and you updated mara table again you did some validation and you wanted to update marci table so what you are doing you are creating a update function module and all these are putting all these updates you are putting inside the update function module and once you finally realize that all the validation is perfect there is no any issue then what you will do that you will write the commit work as soon as you will write the commit work it will start updating mara marci mard somewhere if you found that no any of the validation is not working or is not valid then you will not write the commit work you will not execute the commit work and by this way you know you can avoid updating your record into the database and this is how you can you know get the uh, luw right this is how you can so logical unit of work right so a work a one one big work can be separated into multiple logical unit of work so that you know you can get the atomicity right isolation all the acid property what we have in the database lw the same you can achieve at the at the sap luw level also because sap luw is nothing but it is made up of multiple db luw right multiple database luw together forms the sap luw so if you want to learn more about that sap luw and db luw on youtube i have prepared a very nice video you can just go and check your concept will be a better okay so this is about the update function module so two important fact one for update function module is that it's uh, for the purpose of achieving sap luw and another that whenever you are going to execute the commit work then only update function module gets triggered very important very frequently asked the interview question that when when update function module is going to get triggered very frequently asked the question very frequently asked question so just you have to remember commit work okay you have to remember commit work <clears throat> what's the difference between normal rfc fm so first who would like to tell the difference between normal and rfc fm and then we will go between the different uh, difference between others so uh, ramesh ramesh can you tell some differences between you know normal function module and rfc function module Ramesh, you are there. Yeah, Harkesh, you can go ahead. 
I think Ramesh is not there. Actually, a normal function module have pass by value and pass by reference parameters. Yes. R actually has only pass by value only. Good, good. Another differences, some some more differences. This is a very important difference. Another difference. Our uh, uh, normal function module we can use it on our only on our system only only on, but uh, uh, R actually can can be used in. Uh, different system also. Yeah. So the, yes. Yeah, so the normal function module can be used in the same system, right? And uh, RFC function module can be used in the same system as well as the different system, right? Yes. Would you be able to execute the RFC function module? Uh, sorry. Would you be able to execute the normal function module? in parallel I mean suppose if you want to yes uh suppose you have a normal function module and you uh you, you want to execute this normal function module in the different tasks you have the different work process yes. right yes. So is it possible yes uh, with the destination uh, none we can do that but normal function module you cannot do right you must have to mark this function module as a rfc function module right no, 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 normal fun functional module we can uh, uh, run it in parallel process with the by de defining the uh, call function function module name uh, destination none. No, it will not work. You can just go and check. Okay, it will not work. Whenever you write the destination none, system expects that the function module must be the RFC function module. RFC, okay. Yeah, okay. so only the RFC function module can run in the different session. Okay, normal function module you cannot run. So this is again one very important point. Suppose if you want to run a particular function module on a different session, or suppose if you want to achieve the parallel processing concept, right? So for that purpose, you must have to mark your function module as a RFC function module. So here, our learning is very concrete, very simple. Whenever you want to execute a function module, Parallelly in a different session, you must have to mark your function module as a RFC function module. That means your function module must be the RFC function module. Okay. So this is the important point. Or if you want to achieve the parallel processing, yeah. right? Yeah. So if you want to achieve the parallel processing, for that purpose also, you require, you know, you require to have the function module as a RFC function module. Good. So the difference between normal function module and RFC function module, we understood. Now, who would like to tell the difference between RFC function module and update function module? So who would like to give this answer? Just raise your hand. I will unmute you. Okay, so the Teja, okay, Ompakas, you can just go and try to explain the difference between RFC function module and update function module. Okay, in the RFC, we can only send by values in the update and it gets executed in the external system. Uh, whereas with the um, now, update function it can be executed only in that application server and because it updates the uh, database and it can be run in synchronous or asynchronous mode and all that stuff but uh, the main difference is rfc function module is designed to get executed in a different system okay okay so the anyone anyone else would like to yeah teja you can go ahead and tell your point of view between the the difference between rfc and update function module uh, yeah pankaj mm -hmm. if it's uh, an rfc function module you can call uh, same system or uh, other system and for updated function model, we can use it for update the database records. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. RFC function model, we can have a pass by value and updated function models. Uh, we call a system for a you know, background RFC like TRFC and QRFC. And, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, not the good answer actually. So see here. The, the difference between update function module and the RFC function module. The very first difference is that you are supposed to tell uh, RFC uh, this update function module only gets triggered when you are having the commit work statement. So just remember this difference. You must have to tell this uh, particular point if you are going to be asked for this interview. So you just tell this point that for update function module, you must have to, you know, uh, write the commit worker statement in order to get trigger. On the other hand, for RFC function module, there is no commit worker required. So this is the first difference. Another difference for RFC function module, you must have to, you know, uh, you must have to select the pass by value, but for the update function module, pass by value and pass by reference, both is possible. Just check this point once again from your side for update function module, I'm doubtful. I think they're only, uh, they're also only pass by value is supported. I will check and I will let you know. So leave this, the, the second point is a doubtful, but the first point is very, you know, straightforward. The first point is, you know, uh, when the, Update function module is going to be only triggered when the commit work come into the picture. On the other hand, for RFC function module, there is no such requirement. Uh, when you are going to create the second second dif difference we are talking about, the first difference just I have told you the second difference now. When we create the RFC function module, we are going to select the RFC function module radio button, right? in the SE37, but in the update function module, we are having the separate radio button for the update function module, right? So that radio button we have to select. So these are the completely two different uh, object, okay? There are, in, in the RFC function module, right? There are two types of RFC. One is the synchronous RFC and another is the asynchronous RFC. So this again depends how we were, how you are going to call these RFC, okay? So this depends on the calling program, how you are going to call the RFC, but the RFC is of two types, synchronous and asynchronous. On the other hand, update function module is of three types, V1, V2, and collective. So update function module is of three types. So th these are some differences. If you could tell, you know, your interviewer will be impressed. So in the concrete way, try to tell, let us see what we have written over here. RFC FM, you can call from the same system or from other system, right? Update FM, this is generally used to update the database record. In RFC function module, you can only have pass by value. Update FM can be called from the same system. If you want to use in another system, then the background, that's fine. In the same system, if you are going to add the destination none while calling the RFC, then it will be called in a separate system, right? This is used to achieve generally the, so use of update FM is to achieve the SAP LUW. And when the commit work gets executed, then update gets started, gets a start executing right so these are the important points which we should <clears throat> understand and we should uh, know okay one thing suppose if if you have one update fm with rfc property like uh, it, when when you are going to execute the update function module in the different system, right? In the remote system, what that is called? What is that called, right? So what kind of, what kind of function module that is called? What kind of call that is going to be called? So update plus RFC, what it is called, right? 
can you can you tell any one of you over here what it's going to be called update plus rfc it's going to be called trfc right transactional rfc and when multiple update are there in the rfc it's going to be called the qrfc right and when that update is going to be run in background that is known as the you know uh so so t trfc is nothing but you know the the background rfc only so trfc the transactional rfc the syntax like call function module in background is nothing but you know that that background rfc only okay so that is that is the syntax call function module in background but the name is actually trfc right so that is the case and here we are having the different update function volume. This is fine. V1, V2, V3. V3, that means the collective, importance of collective run. And here, this is how it takes place. We have seen, right? What is the select options? Important question. Who would like to give the answer that what is the select option in concrete way? who would like to give this answer what is the select option raise your hand and try to give this answer okay her case just you can go and give this answer uh select when we want to uh, i mean uh, select option is a internal table uh, it has four fields a low high sign option okay so till in this way till in the effective way till like this select option is an internal table with header line you must have to add yes. this header line so select option is an internal table with header line containing four fields sign option low and high okay so good your answer is almost correct okay so now now here okay now tell me the flow of the program who uh, flow of the events who would like to tell the flow of the events if uh, selection screens are not there some freshers any of the fresher over here who would like to who would like to give this answer over here raise your hand when you don't have the select uh, selection screen then what it's going to be the flow of the events okay so first you have to tell the name of the events and then you have to tell the flow of the events so who would like to give this answer just raise your hand okay her case yeah please go ahead uh load of program yes start of uh, start, uh, start of selection end of selection very good so very good and now and can you please tell me like when you have the selection a screen involved then what's the flow of events is going to be uh, that is a load of program initialization mm -hmm. uh, add selection output mm -hmm. add selection screen and mm -hmm. uh, after then uh, start of selection end of selection good so again like when the selection screen comes uh, it depends like if you are going to press enter if you are going to press the enter flow will go to add selection screen and then it will go to the add selection screen output and again it will come back to add selection screen but yeah. if you are going to press f8 the flow will be add selection screen then uh, start of selection end of selection and then the lps that means the output screen and if we're going to click on the back button it will again go to the load of program and then initialization right and then add selection screen output and then 
go to the selection screen so this this diagram is very important just understand so very good harkesh very nice and what's the difference between at selection screen outputs and at selection screen again it's a very important question we'd like to give this answer at selection screen and at selection screen output any one of you vishal venkat sanchari right ravi what's the difference between at selection screen and at selection screen output rajesh anil you know be participative guys you know you you must have to participate right right or wrong that is a different issue but we have to be participative over here so who would like to give the answer at selection screen and at selection screen output difference so raising hand over there uh, ravi like uh, you will get one option at the bottom you know where you will be having the emoticon right yeah so you can just so someone like if you are not able to you know unmute or you are not getting that option to raise the hand you can just write here in the chat box that unmute me okay so i will unmute you so ravi i have unmuted you uh hi pankaj yeah yeah yes yes uh, uh, regarding this at selection screen and at selection screen output mm -hmm. um uh, uh these are the two different events like okay. um, at selection screen output event will trigger two times before the uh selection screen is displayed mm -hmm. and after we enter value set selection screen and uh, okay. uh click button execute or uh, enter uh, execute then also at selection screen output will trigger this is just like a module pool event pbo which it triggers two times and okay. yeah screen processing if you want to um uh, uh, do any uh, processing of the screen fields um like you want to uh, uh edit the or uh, um unedit the screen uh, input or output screen field or uh, you want to disable the field we'll write in at selection screen output event good so what you mean to say that at selection screen is used for validation you know just write uh, till like in this way in a simple way so at selection screen is used for validation on the other hand at selection screen output is going to be used for a screen attribute changes so suppose if you want to handle the a screen property so if sometimes you would like to hide some property if you want to make some element visible some element invisible so whenever you have to change property of the screen so that kind of stuff we are going to do in at selection screen output okay so a screen modification kind of stuff is going to be done in at selection screen output and validation is going to be taken place at selection screen so in very simple and short way at selection screen stands for validation at selection screen output is used for screen modification very simple second difference at selection screen is like pai of the module pool program at selection screen output is like pbo of the module pool program right <clears throat> so this is the important difference if you can tell like this it will be good and one more point you were telling that uh, at selection screen output is going to be 
triggered two times so in what sense you were telling that at selection screen output is going to be trigger two times at selection screen also will be triggered two times right ravi uh, no pangas uh, at selection screen will trigger only one once before the selection uh, at, at selection screen will trigger only after the selection screen is displayed and you will enter values there and when we click on exit then only at selection screen event will trigger but uh at selection screen output will trigger before the display of that uh, selection screen um, okay okay i got your point yes yes yeah yeah in in that perspective yes you were right so in that perspective if we talk about so before displaying the selection screen the at selection screen output is going to get trigger and once the selection screen is going to be displayed and if we are going to take some action then only at selection screen is going to be triggered because at selection screen gets triggered only for validation and again when it has to come the control to the selection screen before the control coming at selection screen output again gets triggered yes so in this way at selection screen output is going to be triggered twice on the other hand at selection screen is going to be triggered you know only once so this can be also one good difference good very good ravi now who will tell me the different types of messages and you know there are differences but let's just stop over here let's see this we will see tomorrow today we are going to have the interview so how many of you are interested for interview just let me know over here in the chat box i'm going to take the i'm going to schedule the interview and another 15 minutes you can have the interview with each other tomorrow also we are going to have the interview and on weekdays we will be having on each alternate day so right here in the chat box if you are interested google forms good so only i think om prakash is interested so yeah vishal is also there so if any one is also interested that's fine i'm going to take the interview because what we have decide over here it we are going to do in this way so if someone is having some work issue or some problem you know you can just carry on uh here the name i required so here uh some more people we are having ompakas vishal rampes venkat harkes okay so six people then i think i don't require this one um mm, vishal can take the interview of ramesh and venkat can venkat and harkes so harkes please take the interview of venkat i don't require this form to be submit because we are having very limited people for interview and i'm going to take the interview of uh, om prakash so is it fine just just share your number over here so that you know uh, people will call you and we can have the interview uh, done over here okay i'm already having the number of om prakash i'm going to call him so vishal you please call to ramesh and harkesh you please call to venkat and share here number no need of you know filling this form for few people it's fine so thank you everyone for attending the session and let's uh, meet tomorrow bye bye <clears throat>